Good afternoon YouTube champions. Um, who wants to have a look inside this Victon Energy Phoenix Inverter? I know I do. Um, this is a pure sine wave Phoenix 12 volt 250VA which is around 200 watt. So basically a 200 watt hour inverter. Um, low frequency inverter. So it's got a a nice bit of weight to it from the big transformer inside. Um, this is the Australia and New Zealand standard socket. Yeah, I've just got a XT60 in at the moment just to do a bit of a quick standby test on it. These are very, very efficient on standby, um, especially with the eco mode as well. It will just basically pulse power and um, wait for a load to come on. I think it's 15 watts. And if you go over 15 watts, then the inverter itself will turn on. So yeah, definitely a very efficient inverter. Very solid. These things should last a long, long time. Um, yeah, well, let's get in and open it up. All right, on the back side, I've just taken out four screws. There's one in each corner here. Four screws as you can see you got the quality pass a little bit of info 12 volt 250 230 um, output Australian NZ yeah a few little things designed in Netherlands made it made in India uh, so there you go made in India all right so I took out the four screws let's turn it around and open it up all right easy as that take off the cover and look at that transformer massive transformer looks like um, some silicon wire here feels like a must be a solid copper wire um, yeah because it feels quite stiff and solid conformal coating here by the looks You've got your fan got some 30 amp fuses, two 30 amp hour fuses on the DC side. There's your LEDs poking out through the board here. Yeah, large transformer, and then that heads over to the 240 volt AC side and out to the outlet here. Yeah, I thought this would be interesting for you to have a look inside. Very well built lot of room in between the DC the transformer and the AC side plenty of room so everything keeps cool less chance of short circuit and all that yeah got a few little capacitors in there not too sure exactly all the components here but I'm sure you guys probably know a bit more than me. Got your capacitors there. Looks like some MOSFETs just there. Your plug for your fan. Yeah, this this looks nice. This looks very nice. Looks like there may this may possibly be a um, what are your thoughts? A voltage sensor or maybe a temperature sensor? running through there yeah very cool very nicely built in my opinion um, yeah hope you found this interesting and thank you once again for watching I'll see you on the next one bye